Hey everyone, this is Megan bringing you another Battle for Zendikar draft, and we have opened a sweet rare in Planar Outburst. I love this card. You guys, it's great. Uh, we also have opened a Herald of Kozilek and a Tide Drifter, both also great cards, which I would be, uh, which I would first pick. I think if Planar Outburst weren't here, it would honestly be a really close call. I really like Herald. It's it just provides so much advantage in terms of building your board presence when you have a nice devoid deck, or you know, yeah, like a nice colorless deck essentially. But Tide Drifter also quite good. Just a big wall makes all your other dudes big walls also. But we're gonna go ahead and take this sweet, sweet rare and planar outburst and kind of see what happens from there. All right, here we have a veteran war leader, which is green white allies. We have a breaker of armies, quite good. We have a rising miasma, eh. Ruin processor, mist intruder. Really, I really like Breaker of Armies in terms of the Eldrazi that I like. Breaker is quite high up there. But um, we also already have like a very like a great a great late game play. So I'm a little inclined to take something along the lines of Mist Intruder. Um, something like Stonehaven Medic would also be good. But I'm not worried about picking up a card like this because I think it's quite, you can get them late, like the life gain deck wants them, but there's more than anybody really wants. So we're going to go ahead and take, I think, just a nice little early blue card. Oh, snap. Well, here we're just going to go ahead and take this Emeria Shepherd. We will take another white rare. Uh, there is a sheer drop, which I would like here a little bit better than usual, just because of the outburst, a Gideon's Reproach, and a Core Castigator. Any of which I would take. I'd probably take the Reproach next, but you know what? We're just going to go ahead and take this Angel and be pretty happy about it. Now I'm looking at, you know, there's not honestly a ton here that I'm super excited about. There's a lot of green in the Beastmaster and the Gnarlet and the Rot Shambler. There's this seven, which we I don't, you know, super feel like we need to pick up, especially this early. It's this March from the Tomb, which could be interesting, but I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be happening for us. Go ahead and take a Spell Shrivel, but I'm not thrilled, even though I quite like that card. Quite a bit. Here, I'm going to go ahead and take this Rampart. I like Fortified Rampart. It's a good card. I wonder... There's a chance that we should be going black-white here. I would not rule it out. Whatsoever. At this point in time. Here, there's a Devastator which we don't need. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Demon's Grasp over the cliffside lookout. Again, entertaining the idea that potentially we should be in black. Just considering sort of the general flavor of what we've been getting past here, we're just going to take a spawning bed. We will happily take a spawning bed. Good card. It can help us potentially play big stuff early. Just solid. Wouldn't wouldn't say no to a Felidar Cub later on, but for right now, it's spawning bed all the way. Here Hmm. I, we're not particularly a tandem tactics deck. We're not gonna play Brilliant Spectrum. I guess the thing that we're most likely to play is this Myers Malice. I wouldn't swear to it, but I wouldn't unswear to it either. Here I'm entertaining taking this rush of ice. Um, and just being like a hardcore awaken, live to planar outburst deck. <laughs> as silly as it is, like Skyline Cascade is probably just a better pick. If we end up black, like Mortuary Mire is not the worst thing, especially considering that we have outburst. Hmm. 
Yeah, actually, I think considering how late you can get Rush of Ice, we're going to go ahead and Cascade here first. Ooh, and here we will definitely Stonehaven Medic. Hopefully someone goes crazy converge with that unified front like that veteran war leader. I would love to see that. Like legitimately. I would just love to see that. Here we're not going to pluck any of these. Put the slab hammer in our sideboard. Um, we're again not going to play any of these. No matter what. This is really a blue card. Singing as it produces blue mana. Um, sure. <laughs> Entertain that idea? Eh, probably not, but you never know. You never know. So far, we have, um, you know, not, not a wonderful, but not a horrible start either. We have a great rare. We have a really solid, like, follow-up rare. Um, ooh. Do we just take this Void Winnower? I mean, there's also this Clutch of Currents. We have a Spawning Bed. And a Planar Outburst. Do we just go, like, really big? We go big or go home? Going home here means dying, you guys. Yeah. We're just... We're doing it. Uh, we're going to take that. Ooh, and now there's a grip of desolation. Over means we're abandoning blue. Yep, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. All in. All in on the hardcore control. Right now the no win con. Well that's not true. We have this. We're just gonna have to work really hard at surviving. Like we don't want to play that even. We do want to play this Malice, actually. We'll play this Malice in this deck. We need, like, a lot more of this type of effect. Just early blockers. Ways to gain life. Another veteran war leader. Interesting. Very interesting. And a vile aggregate. My oh my. Like, honestly, we don't need a Royal's Retribution. What we need is, like, a cheap white two-drop. Do we need this 5-5 five five instead? No. Really? No. I'm gonna take the removal spell. <laughs> I can't help myself. Ooh, we are neither green nor blue, which is too bad. Hmm. We're getting past a lot of blue now. Which makes me think that we were wrong in our initial assessment. Perhaps we should have taken Evolving Wilds last turn so that we could play more of this blue. Alright. We'll take this Rumination Guide. Entertain that we are perhaps supposed to be blue. Here we'll take a Felidar Cub. Just fill out. Um, we will take a sludge crawler. Good early play. Take another shrivel if we're going to end up being blue, but I would really prefer black at this point with this grip. So we'll do this. Oof. God, how many five drops can we handle? Cause that's definitely just the best card. Like, way better than Mindraker. Alright, we're gonna do a little lesson on how not to pull the deck, friends. <laughs> Don't make it this expensive. Look at this curve. This is the most ridiculous curve I've ever... I think I've ever built in my life. This is just straight absurd. What is this? What is this? Um, we will play none of these. <laughs> Again, this deck is very silly right now. Needs a lot of help. <laughs> like a lot. It needs a lot of help. By help, I mostly mean 
reasonable stuff to do to help us survive. Hmm. Again, we're not going to play any of these. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I've only cast this once, but it was great. It was really great. Do you guys read Uncharted Realms? Apparently all the angels died fighting things. On Zendikar, I mean. All the an angels on Zendikar. Went to go fight, and then they died. It was sad. Red was also open, I think. Well, we've just seen a bunch of cost like sentinels. We saw that vile aggregate. That thing could wreck us. Wreck us hard. We need more fortified ramparts. <laughs> Like, if next pack we just picked up all fortified ramparts, I'd be okay with that. Hmm, the really one that's pretty plain, so nah. Whatever. 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 <sighs> Top end is silly. I love this card. I think this is pretty much a bomb. Also, th this is the <laughs> angel that it's uh, grasping in its grip of desolation. Desolation twin? We can't. You guys, we can't. Like, as much as I really wish that we could do this, we super can't. <laughs> We're just gonna take this. We're going to take another Fortified Rampart. It's not great, but it's what we need. Oh, I wish. But we already have this, so... Cool it, everybody. Cool it. Uh, hold on, BRB, you guys. Sorry about that, I was making cookies, I had to pull them out of the oven. They look great. Um, if you would like, I will fax you some. Here, ooh, we have this core blade whirl, which is meh, this drone, which is meh, this Felidar cub, this shadow glider. We'll take the flyer. We will take the flyer. Honestly, we'll play any of these. So we'll take the flyer. Um, here. Interesting. Do we want a channeler? I mean, we have a Void Winnower that we're trying to cast. But there's also this Shear Drop. How much removal do we have? The answer is a lot. Well, I guess only three. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we probably don't need the Shear Drop. So it's between Medic and Channeler and Crawler. I'd take Medic over Crawler. We'll take Channeler. I think it's just correct. Oh god, we really wish we could have that. You can have Rampart, s another spawning bed. We have 11 creatures. That seems about correct. Reproach, which is good early. We have a channeler, a spawning bed. 
So I wonder if we're just supposed to take Fortified Rampart here. Play three of them? Huh. I think it's Reproach Rampart spawning bed. Jeez, that's difficult. Hmm. Uh, we'll take a rampart. I uh, that could have been very incorrect. But what's done is done. What's done is done. Here we'll stick a stupid McKinney patrol. And say, literally, who cares? Ooh. We might have to find a way to splash this. Which will make us happy that we didn't take another spawning bed. That card is just so good. Um, here... We're going to take Skimmer. Good card. Hmm. God, now I really wish we had taken that wilds a while back. A wilds back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the chances are we're just going to take our chances and play it anyways. Don't really need it, but we're not going to play it, I mean. Hmm. You're going to have to play some less than great cards. Like that. Well, that's not a good card. It's a bad card that we don't want to play. I really don't want to play. But I think we might have to. Here we're going to take the Night Watch over the Despoiler. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, we'll play that Felidar Cub. Ooh, and we will play that Medic. Perfect. Sure. Ooh, it's my favorite island. We're gonna take it over an Altar's Reap. <laughs> alright, alright. 24, so we can take out this really bad Ondu Great Horn. And, like, these are both so underwhelming. I think we can probably take them out, honestly, given Cub, Cub, Rampart, 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 Medic, Medic. <laughs> so we'll take out the Assassin, because we'll go kind of light on black. I think. It's not perfect with Crawler and Grip. Hmm. This is an ambitious deck, I think is what I would call it. We're going to play Spawning Bed. We don't even have like a Pilgrim's Eye. This card is so good. We'd rather just have something we can cast. Ugh. Yuck. Hmm. <laughs> I would just so rather play this over an Arcana Assassin, you know? Even though we can give this instant speed death touch with our Stonehaven medics. Which I guess makes it slightly more appetizing. Our mana is just gonna be so bad otherwise. Alas, Fathom Feeder. It's good for that short time that we knew each other. This curve is the stupidest thing that's ever happened. Like, <laughs> what is this? What is this? It's am ambitious? No, that's being way too generous. Ambitious is a kind word. This is, it does not deserve kind words. It could be, it, this is entertaining. This will be, we'll see. And we'll see what happens, because it could at least, at the very least, be massively 
entertaining. We'll go ten seven. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, well everyone, I will see you for round one. <laughs> for better or worse. <laughs>